Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the hotel management system using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with Paystack payments. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor. And in the last one, we worked with Flutterwave. You can check out the video in the playlist. And now in this one, what we need to do is work with Paystack. So to be able to integrate Paystack, we need to actually add their inline script. So I'll say source and HTTPS column double slash JS dot Paystack dot co slash V2 slash inline dot JS. Okay. So now if you take this piece of code and put it in your browser somewhere here, you can see that it loads up the inline JS. That is to confirm that it's working. Okay. So now that we have this, I want you to create a new script for the payment. You could do that over here. So scripts and what we pretty much need to do is firstly create a function that will be called make pay stack payment. So make pay stack payment and this is what we have. So now I will define a variable called pay stack and I will create a new pay stack object. So new pay stack, that should be capital pay stack pop object. Okay, just like when we created a new date object in the previous tutorial. So then I will say pay stack dot new transaction because the the object has uh, another method and it's called new transaction that you can use to instantiate a new transaction and it needs a couple of things firstly it needs a key that you could use and over here you need to put in your pay stack public key so for the pay stack public key all you need to do is sign up a free account uh paystack.com you can grab your test public key or your life public key and pretty much put it in there for the payment so i'm going to take my live public key then i will put in the public key over here so this is my paystack public key my personal paystack public key this wasn't provided to us by paystack you could go ahead and grab your own public key because at the end of the video i will have to disable this so that um, a lot of charges don't get made to my text test account so grab your own key for this and you also need to add an email for the email i will go with booking dot email okay and finally amount so amount and over here i will go with booking dot total now i want you to multiply this by 1000 if you will be making the payments in naira which is nigeria naira which is only what paystack accepts then you want to multiply this by 1000 because paystack wants you to send the amounts in kobo Okay, so you multiply whatever your amount is by 1000 and send it to Paystack and Paystack will be able to know how to actually format this and actually take the right total from over here. All right, so do, do it this way and everything should work out well for you. Now, if the payment goes through, then we need to call the on success function. And over here, I will pretty much pass in transaction and also over here, let's start off by login console.log and I want to log the transaction. So the transaction holds things like the reference and you know, informations like that. So what we could say over here is windows.location.href, which is the place that we want to redirect to if the payment goes through. So I want to redirect to slash success slash then over here we need to add the booking id of course so i will say booking dot booking underscore id slash now if you don't want to have to type if you don't want to type all this out you could pretty much take this code over here and put it down here okay so you can take that code and put it down here all right that should still work well so how about the payment does not go through or maybe the user cancels the payment then let's call the on cancel um, function and you could you could leave the parameter empty for now and um, create the function okay 
and let's pretty much lock something like payments cancelled or you can even alert payments cancelled or you can even say you can even say swow dot fire and you can say title um, payment cancelled cancelled and you can also give an icon for this and you can say something like error okay so i believe that is pretty much it for pay stack now what we want to do is duplicate this you see this button here that helps us make the flutter wave payments just duplicate it down here and remove the type remove the id just give an on click function to it then call the make pay stack payment function all right now we also need to change up the bot the color of the button and also its text so instead of this flutter waves color let's use pay stack color which is 09 a 5 db okay all right there, there you go i got it now this should be pay with pay stack now before we test this out i want you to know that this is the most updated way of making pay, pay stack payments as of 2024 so if there are new updates i will definitely make a follow-up tutorial to show you guys how to work with this as you can see it's very very simple and just like flutter wave you can also integrate web hooks verify your payments which i'll be making up follow-up tutorials for okay so let's go ahead and test this out now and see how it looks you can pretty much redirect back to this page here and i will reload this page just for us to see the pay with pay stack button can you see that pay with pay stack so this these are all coming together now you can see that we have a couple of payments gateway now we have paypal we have stripe we have flutter wave we have pay stack and as soon as you click on the pay stack you should open up this page so let's give this some time and there you go now you hit success and you hit pay with pay with naira or pay with pay stack there you go payments made thanks for your patronage and as you can see it returns us back to this page so that is pretty much it for version one of the payments using paystack and also for flutter wave which we worked on in the previous tutorial in the future like i said before i will start making up making tutorials for working with webhook because it's actually quite complicated when you want to go through it for documentation especially for beginners so that is something i would definitely look into making a tutorial for Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Check out some of the videos in the description. It's one of the courses there might actually help you become even a better Python Django developer. I hope to see you in the next video. If there is something that you don't understand, do make sure to drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Until the next video, mad love, peace out.